All right, we're going to divide this using the distributive property and partial quotients. Uh, but first, we're going to go ahead and estimate to see what our answer should be close to. So I see that the divisor is 4. I'm going to keep the 4. And then I'm going to go ahead and keep the 8 because 8 is already compatible with 4. So we're going to turn this into 800. And then we're just going to go ahead and divide 800 divided by 4. The 8 divided by 4 is 2. I have two zeros minus no zeros is two zeros. So our estimate is 200. All right, now using the box method, I have three digits, so I'm gonna make a box with three compartments, one for each place value. So I'm gonna split 844 to 800, 40, and four. And we're gonna divide it by four. So what I want to do in the first box is I want to figure out how many hundreds times 4 can fit into 800. So I can see that 200 times 4 will equal 800, which fits into 800 nicely. So then I subtract. I have nothing left. So now I can move on to the tens. So for the tens, I want to know how many tens times 4 will fit into 40. So only one ten. So 10 times 4 equals 40. Subtract it. Again, there's nothing left. That's nice. So then I just move on to the ones. How many ones times 4 can fit into 4? Only one, one times four can fit into four. Subtract, and there's nothing left. So here we've basically divided each place value by the four. And now we're going, our quotient is written in expanded form, and we're just going to add them together to find the answer. So the answer is 211, 211.